I found a second phone my husband used to cheat on me, and now he's panicking, I'm using a throwaway account for this, I discovered the phone 3 months ago, the way I found out he was cheating was purely by accident, I had recently gotten a new phone because I dropped my old one, cracking the screen so badly that it became unusable, it was challenging to recover all my contacts, so I decided to access our phone account to retrieve them, my husband is responsible for paying the phone bills, so I never bother with the account. I used his computer, where the login information was saved, making it easy to access. After retrieving my contacts, I noticed that instead of just two lines on the account, there were three, with an extra phone listed that neither of us had. At the time, I thought nothing of it. I assumed it was a line for his grandmother, who only has a landline and had mentioned wanting a phone a couple of times. I figured he just forgot to mention it to me. Cheating never even crossed my mind. I didn't ask him about it and went on with my day. A few days later, I was hanging out with my best friend, who asked if I had managed to recover all my information. I said yes and casually mentioned that I found out his grandmother had a phone that he hadn't told me about, but it wasn't a big deal. I'm not sure what prompted her to ask, but she said, are you sure it's his grandmother's phone? I replied, pretty sure. She suggested I double check, and though I wasn't initially inclined to do so, curiosity got the better of me. I called his mom first to say hi and asked about his grandmother, specifically if she had gotten a phone yet. His mom said no, that she had decided she didn't really need one. The next day, when he went to work, I checked the account again. I clicked on the mysterious phone and viewed the usage history. It had only texted and called one number hundreds of times, with the history going back five months. The calls and texts only occurred during times when he was at work never at home. When I saw that, I tried to rationalize it, thinking there was no way he would cheat on me. I called my friend and told her what I saw, and she told me I needed to find the phone to confirm the cheating. I searched the house for days but couldn't find it, so I knew he must have it on him. I waited for him to fall asleep, then searched his car, where I finally found the phone. His passcode was the same as on his regular phone, and I discovered everything text messages, pictures of her, pictures of them together, and even I love you exchanges. She sends him a good morning video message every morning, and he's kept every single one. I was heartbroken and cried the whole night. My friend advised me to take the phone, disable all location trackers, and then turn it off. The next morning, he was 30 minutes late to work because he was searching for the phone but couldn't ask me about it without revealing he had a second phone. I kept asking him what he was looking for, and he set a file for work. Eventually, he left. I went to a park with my friend, turned the phone on, put it in airplane mode, and went through everything. Our whole marriage is a lie. He pretended to care about me, to love me, while building a relationship with this other woman, who knows he's married. I can't even describe how I felt when I found everything out. I still haven't confronted him because I'm planning to leave in a few months. There's a benefit to being married to him that I would lose if I filed for divorce now, but I won't need that benefit anymore in a couple of months. He knows something is up because I put the phone back four days later under his car seat, the same seat he checked multiple times when he was searching for it. I even charged the phone back to the same percentage it was at when I found it. That idea came from my friend. The day he found the phone, he came into the house and hovered around me all night, remaining unusually quiet. He hasn't asked me about it, likely because he knows I know, and asking would lead to more questions. Over the past three months, my behavior has changed. We haven't been intimate since I found out I've rejected every advance and he's panicking. When I checked the account during the first month, the third phone line had been removed. He also changed the account password a few days later. He keeps asking me what's wrong, and I keep saying, nothing. Now, he never goes anywhere. If he's not at work, he's at home, trying to spend time with me. He's even suggested couples therapy because, in his words, something has changed, but I told him we don't need it. To be honest, I find a strange satisfaction in watching him panic because he destroyed our marriage, and I think he should suffer through the worry until I leave him. Edit, I have everything. My friend showed me how to retrieve all the texts, video messages, and pictures of them together. I only took the ones where they weren't nude because my friend said taking nude photos of someone who didn't give them to you could be an issue later on. I also downloaded the phone account usage before he locked me out of the account. She's keeping everything for me. In fact, it was her idea to let him panic. I also already had an STD test. I paid for it out of pocket because I'm on his insurance, and thankfully, I'm fine. Edit 2 earlier, I spontaneously decided to make this post because I was home, reflecting on what I have planned in my impending divorce. I ended up on the divorce subreddit and then found the cake eaters subreddit, which wasn't a good choice because it made me so angry. His cheating on me was I can't even find the words to describe how painful it is. In a way, what I'm doing to him is petty, but when I started this, it was the only way I could make him hurt as he hurt me. He utterly destroyed me with this, and with the help of my friend, I've been trying to heal, albeit slowly. I don't know if I ever will. I don't care if he finds this post here or on other social media. He knows I know he cheated otherwise, he wouldn't be trying to prove he is where he says he is all the time. I'm done, and thankfully, I have a friend helping me through this, including finding a lawyer. He can be with whoever he wants. I don't care. The hurt is too much for me to ever care about him or love him again. I'm only staying because I need something. I have a few more months left to go. I don't know if I will update because I have a long road ahead, but thanks for the comments.